Would you mind if I sort of dropped by his house and just sort of checked on him? Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> friends and welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a professional artist and master educator attempting to bring you the best in art historical content. If you like this one, please interact with the video. Thank you very much. Sound to me you've been reading a lot of newspapers printed in Washington, D.C. Now, in the world of printmaking, there are four basic types of prints. Today I want to talk about one of those, relief printing. We're here to learn. Anybody else have a problem with that? If we think about fingerprints, a rubber stamp, or tire marks on the pavement, we might already understand how relief printing works. In a relief process, the printmaker cuts away all of the parts of the print surface not meant to carry ink. The carved surface is then inked, and the ink is transferred to the paper with pressure. The oldest relief prints are woodcuts. The woodcut process lends itself to design with bold black and white contrast. The image bearing the block of wood is a plank cut along the grain. Woodcut editions are limited to a couple of hundred because the relief edges begin to deteriorate with the repeated pressure. Woodcut originates in China, where the desire to spread the Buddhist religion greatly influenced the type of prints that were being produced. Soon this process would spread to Japan, gaining huge popularity in the 17th through the 19th centuries. Japanese woodblock prints are made through a complex process that uses multiple blocks to achieve these various color effects. Because they were much cheaper than paintings, these prints were the preferred art of the middle class. And the subject matters of these works were so various with works that depicted nightlife, landscapes, portraits, and so forth. These Japanese prints were among the first objects of Asian art to find favor among European artists and many of the Impressionists and Post-Impressionist artists were strongly influenced by these printings, including Cezanne, Manet, Monet, and Vincent van Gogh. Damn you! I almost numbchucked you! You don't even realize! Color woodcuts are usually printed with multiple wood blocks. As with most printmaking techniques, when more than one color is used, each color is on a separate block that are printed one after the next, and they must be carefully lined up or registered to ensure that the colors will match up in the exact place they're supposed to to line up for the final print. Renowned Japanese artist Hokusai made some of the world's best color woodcuts. He worked in close collaboration with highly skilled carvers to realize his final prints. For each of his woodcuts, he would transfer as many as 20 blocks that would be lined up in a certain order in Hokusai's print, The Wave. A towering mountain of water threatens some tiny fishermen out on their boats. The rhythmic curves of the churning sea even dwarf Mount Fuji in the background. Now the details and the quality of this print are very different from the rough woodcut we see created by Emil Nolda titled Prophet. Each cut in this block is an expressive look at an old man's face and revealing the character of the wood and the woodcut process. Nolda's direct approach is a part of a long tradition in German printmaking. A more modern development in relief printing is linoleum cut. Artists start with a rubbery, synthetic surface of linoleum. And just like a woodcut, the artist will gouge out the areas that are intended to not take ink. An example of a linoleum cut, or lino cut, is this work by Bill Thick. He is a contemporary printmaker from North Carolina. His large-scale prints are all generated by carving these detailed designs on a large sheet of linoleum. Okay, fine. What do I know? I color for a living, but I love that story.
What are you running away from?